Behind the INX or sapphire glass of the Apple Watch sits a bright and colorful LED. It's sharper than other smartwatches, most notably the pixelated LCD of the Moto 360. It's the right screen technology for smartwatches, as OLED displays draw much less battery when showing a darker screen. With OLED only the pixels used are turned on, and fewer pixels equals less battery drain. Apple Watch Review That's why most of the Apple Watch faces are surrounded by deep black background. It also helps the colorful app icons and watch face element prop. The 38mm Apple Watch resolution is 272 by 340, while a 42mm version is 312 by 390. The bigger display's necessary extra power is offset by a larger Apple Watch battery. Apple was able to design a sharp-looking flexible OLED display for the watch, but it didn't go as far as creating a circular screen for a truly classic watch look. Last year's Moto 360 did exactly that to the envy of iPhone owners who weren't able to get in on the modern smartwatch craze outside of the first two Pebble watches. All of Apple's flowery marketing rhetoric about reinventing the classic watch look, from digital crown to complications, didn't end up translating into that that traditional round watch design, which is one of my largest criticisms with the form factor. I appreciate that the square is better for interacting with the watch, but with the app's interface being spherical and traditional watches just look better when round. Apple Watch is more colorful in its iPhone connected rivals though, especially the new Pebble Time, and readable in all but the brightest sunlight. But it comes at the expense of its battery life. 